Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's Tuesday afternoon. I've been pent up all day and decided it was time to go out and do a little playing. It is sunny, 79 degrees, nice cool breeze. It's like a perfect day out. Lately, it's been great. Ever since the humidity broke, it's been fantastic actually. And I will take it. Update on shipping stuff. Yes, the tracking finally works for the hub. So the hub is definitely going to be here tomorrow. Hell yeah. They sent me a tracking number, but I tried to run it and it came up and said that it doesn't exist. So you know how that goes. A lot of times these companies just to sort of placate you, they create a label which generates a tracking number and they send it to you to make you think like, eh, I'm going to get it but then they don't actually ship it or it's waiting to be picked up or processed or all that kind of shit. And then you end up not getting it for a while, but it actually did ship and definitely shows tomorrow. Also the Sony mic, which I never had any doubts about since that's coming from B&H, that will also be here tomorrow. So I'm pretty stoked because I was actually pretty surprised that, you know, it said that shipping would start on the 15th, that I was actually part of the people that were going to actually get there shipped on the 15th. Again, I thought that millions of people bought this damn mic and that I was never going to get it. So yay. Still nothing from Nomadic. You know, it's like I almost want to cancel the freaking order because it annoys me so much that it's taken this long to hear nothing and to not receive anything for something that showed that it was in stock. It kind of pisses me off. At least I have the other two toys to, to get and play with. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning. I took the whole day off basically after today I, you know i'm done for a day so i'm pretty excited about that of course i'm not excited that i have to be at the doctor's office before nine but okay i can live with it i've been getting up early anyways i'm hoping that it's this nice out because i will definitely go out and play if it's not and it's raining i'll have stuff to play with inside and i'll be able to shoot some stuff to come up with at least initial thought videos on the microphone and the hub we'll see what happens i definitely won't mind a nice day out so that i can go outside and enjoy it whilst i can but we're here we're just i'm just going to great neck park and we're going to walk around outside because it's nice out let's do that one thing you're going to notice going forward which you probably already noticed, is how messed up my hair is. It's at that awkward length now where it won't go back and it wants to fall, but the natural part wants to come in. So I end up like, I don't know, I look like a dork and it drives me crazy. So you usually will see me if I'm at home wearing my crown where, I, where it pulls my hair back and holds it back. And a lot of times out in public, you're gonna see me wearing some kind of a hat because I hate this length of hair. Basically, I hate every length of hair except for buzz cut or flowing anime lock long. And it takes too long to go from one stage to the other. So right now, my hair is just about getting long enough where it's going to fall down from the weight and it's going to go into my eyes. And it is going to drive me insane. And then I'm going to drive you insane because I'm going to have all this shit in my head or I'm going to constantly be playing with my hair, which also drives me crazy. Wah! Okay, so here we are couple of things of mention. One, I have the 14 millimeter F1.8 G Master on with the Hada ND filter, you know, in the back. And I just have the first level of, of ND on there. Don't remember what that is, doesn't matter. Again, I told you this before, that's probably the one that I will put in here. It's just enough to cut the, you know, the super bright, but not so much that it messes the footage up by being too dark. So here's a question for you. For those of you that walk around like an idiot like me, and you're hitting all kinds of different lighting situations, what do you use for your exposure meter? Do you use center, multi, spot, stuff like that? I used to do it in the center, but because, like especially when I'm using a big, uh, like a 14 millimeter super wide angle lens like this, there's so much outside of here that it exposes for me, and I look great, and everything else is blown out. A lot of times, again, I have it on center, and then it blows everything else out. But right now, it has the entire screen to think about, and everything looks good, but I look really dark. Now, it's on center. So, as long as I'm holding the camera semi-steady, it's exposing for me. And you'll start to see that everything else gets blown out. And now you see why I come back here, because the lighting situation changes with almost every step I take. 
especially if it's sunny out. The sun coming through all these trees and the wind blowing on them and everything, it just really changes. And you get to really see how the camera keeps up or how the lens keeps up and what it looks like. And I guess also the audio because of the fact that you're back here, you've got a bunch of kids over there screaming. Ambulances, most of the time I come back here, they're either doing construction or landscapers are here and uh, it gets pretty crazy. I sat here and I looked through each one of the metering modes and decided that multi is where it should be, especially when I'm out walking around like this. So that, that's where it's gonna stay for now. But I also looked up at my battery life and I'm at 29%. That bothers me. And it's the one downfall of this A7 IV that disappointed me, especially because once they went to those, those Z batteries, the Z battery, and I had that in my A6600, and the battery life was astounding. I could film forever on those and take a lot of pictures and not worry about the battery life. And, and you know, with the A6600, they didn't have a grip, so I didn't worry about it. It was also good with my A7C, which I used all the time. And I also didn't use a grip on that camera. My A7 III, no problem, although I did use a grip, but that's just because I like a grip on those kind of cameras. And then with the A7R4, of course, I only use it for pictures, not for video, but I, frick, man, them batteries last forever. Now, I do use a grip on that because it helps balance out that 200 to 600 lens, but I never have to worry about a battery running out. I can go out all day at Pleasure House Point or at the state park and take hundreds and hundreds of pictures and not worry about running out of even one battery, let alone the two that are in the grip. But this A7 IV, I have been disappointed in the battery life since I first got the first body, which is why I kept looking for ways to extend that battery life out and ended up with that Anton Bauer. And I also have a setup to use a different V-mount battery system. That's a pain in the ass because I mean, I, here I am, I've got my little Suray AM223 carbon fiber, like mini desktop tripod. And I've got the A7 IV in a cage with no grip, one battery. It was charged as of this morning I have filmed in the Forerunner. I filmed a little bit at home. I'm at 27%. I barely use this damn thing, and I've got almost like a quarter of my battery life left. Now I have another battery with me because I don't ever carry extra ones around. If I didn't have a setup in the Forerunner to charge it whilst I'm recording, and keep in mind, when I put it in the Forerunner, I automatically plug it in. But if you don't start with a fresh battery, it just goes down. It's, it's kind of hard to catch up. So the bottom line is the battery life on this camera sucks. And it's kind of disappointing because otherwise it's pretty awesome. I wish that they could fix that in a firmware update because that's disappointing. Now, when I have the other A7 IV, that I actually have a grip on it with two batteries. And that's the one that I use for taking pictures, my usual walk around camera. Not much of a problem there, but man, when you shoot video, it just sucks the battery life down like crazy. And it's very, very disappointing. Kind of a lame video today, but remember I'm getting toys tomorrow. So I'll at least have something to show you. So that being said, that's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.